Hey guys, welcome back to another video in InfoSec Pat. Thanks for tuning in with another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a fishing site. We're going to be using Pie Fisher. I set up a video about, I don't know, a month ago on how to install that. So you can go check out that video if you want. But in this video, the reason why I want to make this video, it's pretty interesting. <clears throat> you know how a lot of the scammers are sending out emails or sending out, you know, voice calls. Oh, your Amazon account has been hacked, or you know you have a, a thousand dollar charge on your card. Please press one to authorize it, and then I want to send you an email. I want to send you an email to go ahead and authorize that. Something like that, right? All these scamming ways. So, and it actually happened to a family member. <laughs> so. I'm going to send this video. Hopefully they can watch this and see behind the scenes how it's all created. So we are going to use Pie Fisher. This is obviously for educational purposes and for informative sake, right? Just to make sure you're safe on the internet when you get a crazy email, how to look at the email and see if it's actually from a real site. And we can distinguish from a real login site for Amazon and the one we're going to create as a as a offensive security person or as a pen tester or hacker right so yeah without further ado you know like i always say please like subscribe share if you have any questions you know, throw them in the comments and let's get started let's see how the scammers do it and how we can stop the scammers and educate you guys on how to do that All right thanks so much and let's get into the video all right guys so here we are on my desktop so now what we're going to be doing is creating that link and we're going to go ahead and send it to the the victim and all that good stuff so we're going to show you how you can actually be aware of that and how people do it how you know these scammers uh, check that out so let's go ahead and just open up. I, I made a temporary email to do this. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and create the link, right? So what I want to do first, let's just go to Google and we're going to use Amazon, right? So Amazon, Amazon login, right? Let's just go to Amazon and then login, right? Sign in. Okay. So check out this. This is the one that we just went to, right? And now let's go ahead and create. So if you remember, I, I installed Pi Fisher. You can check that video out. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run Pi Fisher and, and all that good stuff. Not going to have a token. All right. So let that boot up and do its little fancy, fancy stuff. So. You know, this is the same application I use and how I installed it and all that good stuff. You can check that video out. So we're going to be using Amazon. So Amazon is 42, right? So let's go ahead and hit 42 here. And let's just give that a moment to do its, do its stuff. It's initialized in the PHP server and all that good stuff. So while that's booting up, I want to go ahead and go to another... Google, I'm going to put shorten URLs. Short URL. They understood what I was trying to do. All right, so go ahead and just we can get something. Just so we can like shorten that URL and we can name it something, blah, blah, blah. So once this is, once this is good, all right, so now we have a URL, right? We have four URLs. So what I want to do is I want to just hit enter here, enter, let it do its thing. So we have URL one, it's uh, behind try, uh, Cloudflare. So I want to go ahead and just copy this, right? And now it's waiting for log on information. So if we just go ahead and just go to the page, hit enter, and actually do this. Let me do this. If we can. All right. So as you can see, 
make this a little bigger. The one on the right is the real one, right? So it looks pretty, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty similar, right? If you're not, you know, for the naked eye, it's it's pretty good, right? You're gonna go ahead and put these credentials in. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna do anything. We're not gonna sign into this yet. What I want to do is set up an email. How people craft these emails, send it to myself, click on it, and then go through that fanciness. Okay. So let's just go ahead and minimize this for now. And let's go ahead and maximize that. And I want to go ahead and create that URL link. I can go ahead and just do this and just put Amazon. Okay. So make URL. Uh, URL bank. Okay. No worries. Don't even sweat that. You can, you know, tinker around with that, but we don't really have to, to worry too much about that. So we see the victim IP address. They did click on the link. They went to the link, right? So it shows that we are this IP address. I'm on a VPN, so that is not my IP address. But so what we're still doing, we're still trying to wait. That's the IP address information. Now we're still waiting for the credentials. So what I did, I, I typed this all out. So what I want to do is copy this, right? And now I'm just going to go ahead and go to Gmail. My Gmail, compose an email. All right, let's pop this open. And I want to send, whoops. Oops, sorry. Let's compose an email. Bigger. Larger. Okay, so let's paste that in. Let's make this a little larger. And right here, this is where I want to put the link, right? So I want to go ahead and let me copy that link one more time. Oops. All right, so let's just copy this link one more time. And what I'm going to do in here, I want to go ahead and click on this little icon to insert link. So I want to, you know, paste this in. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and just click click here to validate your email. So this becomes a hyperlink, right? So we can just throw that on here. So email address, you know, you could throw anything in there. Okay, so let's hit okay. So now we see click here, but obviously it's gonna to go to my crazy, crazy link that we created. But you know, this is what happened with a family member, right? They had something that showed something like this and they clicked on it and they, they would try to put their credentials and now they just got fished, right? This is phishing. This is all that stuff. So I'm just going to put like, uh, please check email, all right? And then I want to put my, my email. So it's infosec pat and tester at Gmail. I just want to make sure that that is it. I just created, I don't know, I want to make sure it's, just want to make sure that is, I wrote it down, infosec path pen tester at Gmail. Okay, cool. So I can send that off and, oh, all right, so, whoa, small. All right, so you see here, it says, you know, please check your email, this is from me. So, now this is from the victim, right? Now the victim got this. They, you know, I could have changed this to say Amazon, but pen tester Pat, that's what I just put my name as. And we can click on the email and we can say, uh, I love my family, my fam at Gmail. Okay. And then they put their password, Patrick, thank you. And they hit enter. And they're like, okay. Did it work? Oh no, it didn't work. But in the back, like as we're as we're seeing it, right? We just got the, the Amazon username and the password. And then now we can just hit Control C. We can fill that now. And let's uh, let's give that a moment. So now we see that. Now we could do an LS, and now I can see usernames. So I can cat user. And now you can see that if you see it. I love my fam at Gmail. And then Patrick, thank you. So that's how easy it is 
to create a phishing site, create an, you know, craft up an email sent to someone and have someone click on it. So please just be aware of any kind of scams, any kind of, you know, make sure when you look at that email, let's go back to the email, hover over it. You know, like you can hover over it and you look in the bottom left, it's like Apollo dash order dash whatever. I can't even see that. Pose dash winter dot. Obviously that's not Amazon, right? So just be very, very careful, please. If you have any questions about this, you know, please feel free to let me know. Obviously, you know, I did this really quick. I don't even know if I have any spelling errors. I just wrote it real quick and just copy and paste it. You know, also you can look for that grammar. And obviously this is not from Amazon, right? It's from me. So just please, 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 pretty please. The only reason why I'm just doing this awareness uh, video because a family member literally called me today saying, oh my God, my Amazon got hacked. I don't know what I'm doing. And, and then they forward me the email and I'm like, this is not Amazon. So for that family member, this is how they do it. And obviously they craft it up a lot better, but this is just a demo version of how people craft these up. You can put a lot of effort into this. You can craft it up pretty. You can put Amazon, you know, logos on here, but this is just how they do it on the back end. God only knows what, you know, you know they can be using the social engineering toolkit. They can be using tools like Pie Fisher, you know, Black Eye. You can just Google, you know, just Google, for an example, um, phishing tools, for example, GitHub, okay, 2022. And you can just, you know, read a whole bunch of like phishing tools. And I'm guessing these are different phishing tools. I don't know. F, the, F Society phishing tool, you know, different kinds of tools out there. Um, you know, I've used uh, Next Fisher. I've used uh, obviously Pi Fisher. That's what we're using here. Um, let me just put phishing without the 2022. Social Fish. I've used Social Fish, and you know, different autom Z Fisher. All these like automated tools. You know, obviously, if you have permission to do this and send it to a a client, if you're composing a social engineering engagement, you know, go for it. Obviously, if you have written consent, written permission to do this, go for it. You know what I mean? But I just wanted to make this video more for an awareness of how, you know, how the, how the bad guys craft these things up and, and they send it off to people. And, you know, it sucks because there's innocent people out there that are not too tech savvy. They just click on it, they give information, and now they just got, you know, fished. So, Hopefully this is informative for whoever's out there. You know, this is pretty much how you can craft up an email, how you can create it's pretty much a phishing site in, in a matter of two minutes, right? Not even, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but it, it, it's more for, inf you know, informative information. It's surprisingly easy and super convenient, right? So like I said, the disclaimer is, the purpose of this video is to promote cybersecurity awareness training you know, all these, you know, all these scenarios that I just showed pretty much for demonstration purposes. And for my family member that got fished, this is how they do it. So that concludes the video. Hopefully this has been informative for you guys. And thank you so much for viewing. And please subscribe, like, share, hit that bell, do all that fancy stuff, whatever you want to call it. And uh, have a good one. Take care.